Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody is sitting down right now because we are about to do another video with none other than everyone's favorite Pokemon card website, Poke Collects. And if you don't know who Poke Collects is, basically he's taken the concept of a regular booster and he's gone, don't want that, don't want anything to do with that. And he's made his own custom booster packs tailored to your needs. So he started his own website, which I'm going to link in the description, perfect for Christmas time. And he's made his own like boost packs right here. So you've got like a Japanese GX God Pack you can buy. Which I don't even want to know what's in there. I didn't even know he made God Packs to be honest. Um, then we've got to go here. Full Art God Pack. No way, they're all God Packs. What the flip? Gee whiz. Um, but you can get like a premium mystery pack. Or maybe you can get a uh, GX God Pack as well. So pretty much he's uh, got all of these custom boosters which offer a better chance of getting better stuff than a regular booster pack. But he's gone, you know what, Christmas is coming up, so he started stocking mystery boxes like this, and he started doing PSA cards. So I don't know what's in these PSA packs, but we got PSA pack number one, PSA pack number two, then we got three, four, and then it all the way goes to number five. But on number five's PSA pack, it says, open last, all in caps lock, three exclamation marks so you know it's legit and every time this man says open something last it's a banger inside and I'm like nervous to know what's in there he wouldn't tell me so yeah I guess we're gonna save that one to last and I think on today's episode we're gonna do part number one we're gonna open this entire section right here all of the uh, left hand side and PSA pack one and two so without further ado Let's get out the Super Collection Pack. What on earth is a Super Collection Pack? That sounds like it's going to complete some of my collection or something. Half the time, man, every time I do one of these videos with him, he, like, changes up the boost pack style, and I love that. So, I'm guessing all of these are from the same set? That makes sense, if, if I'm right? Um, okay, already wrong. <laughs> I don't know, what is it? So, we've got a Ditto, Vaporeon, Maybe these are all the original 151, and that's what he means. Yo, I think I'm right. No way. So we got a Hollow Mew. This is out of Evolutions. And then, none other. Sylveon, that's not in the original 151, but Eevee back there is as well. So we got a Sylveon GX. Already off to an absolutely fantastic start. But the best part is right. Those boosters aren't the best part. It's what's in the top loader inside of those boosters. No way! It's already a full art uh, Jolteon EX with a Mega Sableye and Tyranitar right there. So that's already a banger pull, right? That's fantastic. But a full art uh, Jolteon EX card? Oh, that is sick. I haven't seen that in ages, guys. No way. This is why I love it. It really helps, like, pimp my collection out to a whole new level, I'm gonna be honest. Let's put that EX at the back right there. Um, then let's do it. Jap- <laughs> What the heck is this? Japanese GX God Pack. Well, I'm curious. So, yeah. Every time I do these, um, the collection afterwards is nuts. I could start my own Pokey Collects binder, I think, and it looks so sick. Oh, no way! I'm not even ready. You ready? Okay. Ultra Necrozma GX. Sil Valley GX as well. Magikarp and Whale Lord GX. Somebody's getting turned into fish and chops right there. But anyway, put that to the side. Fish, I fill it to the side right there. And then let's see what's in the God Pack sleeve right here. Open it up. Oh, yeah. So, oh my goodness. Rainbow Rare. Sableye and Tyranitar. But the Full Art Secret Rare Edition. This is the Hyper Rare. 111 out of 94. That's got the texture and everything, dude. But then this right here isn't actually a cheap card. That's pretty valuable. Soul Galu and Lunala. And I love what he means by God Pack. Like, everything in there. Minimum's gonna be a GX card. This is wild. Two packs in. We have a Full Art. And a Rainbow Rare. I don't even know what I'm putting at the back. I'm trying to put all the GXs back there, but I got a feeling it's gonna fill up really, really fast. Ultra Rare Only Pack. These are bangers, man. Every time I do an Ultra Rare Only Pack, I always say, like, that's my favorite one. But, you know what? With these God Packs he's introducing, I've got to say, that might change my mind. Oh, no, it's stuck, guys. The top load is stuck. All right, I think I managed to uh, break it open right there. Put that one to the side. Then get the cards out the sleeves. 
Oh, dude, here we go. We got a Pikachu EX. You guys could let me know in the comments. What's your favorite? Maybe it's going to be the PSA packs. Maybe it's the God ones. Dust main Necrozma. The birds out of Hidden Fates. Oh, the scary part is the man does Hidden Fates now. Like, nothing is off limits. He'll do, like, custom boosters of anything. It's basically whatever he can get his hands on. Mega Mewtwo EX, which is an absolute slapper. Oh my, this almost looks fake. Sizzle Rainbow Rare. How, like, that looks, so, that looks so old school Rainbow Rare-esque with the colors. It looks so fake, but it's not. I know my man, always 100% legit. I can see the texture as well. But just like that, oh my god, you rarely see that, like, hardcore red. So we got, like, a Scizor GX right there, which just, that is bananas. I actually haven't seen that in a hot minute. Scizor is one of my favorite Pokemon as well. Jeez, catching that in the light is pretty crazy. And a Mega Mewtwo EX. But let's keep it going. We're going to do a recap at the end, or I'm going to try to. I always try to lay everything we got out in the first part on the floor. Super Collection Pack. Yo, what are these Super Collection Packs? Trying to find out a pattern here. It's always trying to work out what the pattern is. Nagandal Reverse, not too bad. Then we're going to Marshadow. Shaman as well. Detective Pikachu cards. Oh no. Drapion. That's from like Hot Gold Soul Silver. Real? No way. Shiny Alolan Vulpix. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> then Lunala Prism. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. Moltres EX as well. Unlike how I can just casually kind of miss an EX because it gets stuck at the back. There's just that many bangers in here. Then in the top loader, it's none other than a full art freaking Charizard and a Tapa Lele GX. What the heck, man? This is out of a regular Schmegula booster. Tapa Lele GX and Charizard full art GX. You guys gotta let me know. What pool is your favorite out of all these, by the way? Because I'm just gonna keep going. Um, <laughs> but if, like, this happened on a regular boost back opening, I'd be dead. Like, look how many EXs I've already got. It's bananas. Oh my, what the was that? No way, this is a full art god pack. And just casually at the start is a Kiram EX full art. That is beautiful. I just did a hack video where I saw, no way. Where I saw Kiram in Sword and Shield. What is going on? Every card's going to be a full art, isn't it? Dude, they've all got the texture. This is... Oh my goodness. Yo, real talk for a minute. Real talk. This is the one you gotta go for. This is my favorite. Full arts. <laughs> you know how good your bind is gonna look after this? Mega Alakazam EX Full Art and a Shiny God of War GX Full Art of Hidden Fates as well. No way. This, this is ridiculous. Yo, this cannot be cheap to source either. Trying to find this many full arts would be bananas. Okay. I'm pretty much just uh, in shock right now. I'm just shooketh. I love that he includes card sleeves and top loaders. So like if you find cards you really like, bang, put them in the top loaders, put them in the sleeves. So what do we got here? Three more to go. So I'm going to put you guys to the side. So we'll do three more boosters. Then we'll do two of the PSA packs. Premium mystery pack. Oh no. <laughs> That just means it's a free throw for him to put in whatever. Hopefully you guys like these videos, by the way. I know they're a bit all over the shop, but I love doing them. And from the response you guys give the previous ones, I feel like you guys do love them as well, but a thumbs up always helps out the video. So we're going to Manganium, Arcanine, Espeon, from the old Heart Gold, Song Silver. Then we got Sylveon, Jirachi Prism. These mystery packs are weird. I also wonder what's in a Pokeclex mystery box. I'd want to open that in the channel. Oh, I've got a stack of these, actually. Um, the Blackstar promo, I think, from Neo Days. Entei Reverse right there. Speckled Hollow looks nuts. Oh, what the flip? Hollow Hitmonlee out of Fossil, guys. Stretch Kick, High Jump Kick. Dude, that is definitely old school. That was a mystery pack. Like, there is no pattern there at all. That's what I kind of expect in the old vintage bangers, but I love it. That is incredible. Thank you so much for that one. Put that one in the back. Himonlee out of Fossil. Ultra Rare only pack. Here we go, boy. <laughs> then the last one is a premium vintage pack as well. Himonlee. Oh, I have not seen... I actually haven't seen that card too much besides when TCA sent us the complete Fossil collection. So we got a Charizard EX. Brilliant. Glaceon EX. And Keldeo GX. 
Oh, a lot of these Pokemon I'm just remembering from the Sword and Shield hack video we did. Then, as a fuller, is Rayquaza EX, and then we got the uh, tag team, Espeon and Deoxys GX card. Rayquaza EX is a flat out banger. I remember when these came out, everyone loved them. This one as well, I mean it's a newer card too, like this isn't that old. That Rayquaza looks fantastic. Alright, let's do a premium vintage pack. Then I get to find out what's in the old yellow envelope, so I'm kind of worried, man. I want to know what's in the finale one, and I also want to see what a recap looks like with everything we opened today. So we got a Ponyta, then we'd- Oh, no way! These all proper vintage! Psyduck, Charmander, Pikachu, Mysterious Fossil, Cloyster from Fossil as well, Arcanine, and then what is in the final top loader? That's my question right now, if it's going to be old... Here we go. Dark! Okay, it has to be first edition, doesn't it? Can't be anything less. Dark War Turtle first edition. Then none. Oh, the, then a base set Nido Queen Hollow card. Looks in really good condition. Maybe a small nick here. It's not even a nick. That's like a black dot. Yo! I think my man sent me a 9 out of 10 PSA Nido Queen. Oh, because I think I keep telling him that I'm going to grade all these cards that he sends me. Um, because it's basically, this video is Ando improving his collection, right? And I always tell him, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna grade the cards you send me. He's like, what if I just sent you graded cards? Hence why he started sending me these PSA packs. So let's find out what's inside of here. Let me focus this one up in the middle. And we're just gonna open up the uh, <laughs> yellow envelope and hope for the best. Don't know how these are laid out. Yep, yeah, okay, I can just feel, there's one. There's literally just one PSA card in there. Dude, you gotta hold me back. I wanna open everything right now. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, what the? Yo, that's, I know what that's from. The Super Premium Pokeball Collection. The man has gone and graded a Mewtwo out of that like massive box thingy that came out two years ago. I've always thought about getting this card graded, but I was always like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be good enough. Nine out of 10, like that is a really, really good looking full art as well. Easily, this has to be one of the best X and Y Black Star promos they ever made. What do you guys reckon? Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. And look how much writing has to be at the top because of all the promo stuff that was in there. But X and Y 2016 full art, Really, really good pull, but what's in number two? Let's find out. Do we do number three? I'm terrified. Maybe we do. I just want to, is it one or two? It's one. Again, these are really well padded. What's in my second envelope? I just want to be able to pull it out. Three, two, one. Is it little Jimmy? It's Lucario out of Hidden Fates. Okay, Luca Gem Mid 10 as well. Missile Jab, Lucario Shiny. 2019 Hidden Fates. I honestly can't believe my Hidden Fates collection's like growing in PSA form. That's ridiculous. This only came out a couple of months ago. I've like sent off cards of my own to get graded. Oh, okay, we're gonna do number three. Let's just do one more. And then we'll save four and the last one for tomorrow's episode. But I'm curious. Like, so far they've been fantastic. What could he chuck in the- Oh, okay, of course it has to be a Gem Mint 10, Jesse and James. Hidden Fates, full art card right there. Okay, I think without further ado, I want to end this episode with a recap of the PSA cards, yes, but also the, all the card and boost packs we opened, because that was like a lot to take in for one thing, and then tomorrow, make sure you return to the video for part number two to find out what's inside of Open Last. I am terrified. You guys aren't even ready for what I'm about to show you guys. Like the recap on just part number one. Like guys, we have part number two, which is gonna blow your mind tomorrow. But part number one's recap goes from here all the way out to here. And that's just the EXs and GXs. So I'm like really excited to do this recap. But up the top right, we gotta have the PSA cards. These are the absolute bangerooskies. Like the Mewtwo promo from X and Y, probably one of my favorites they've ever released. It looks so sick. Got a nine out of 10 as well, which is mint condition. Then two Hidden Fates bangers. We got that shiny Lucario, which I think is a really, really big crowd favorite. You guys probably lose your mind. I'm keen to know which one you like the most because these Hidden Fates ones are both in uh, Gem Mid 10 condition, which is sick. And then we've got the Jesse and James one as well, which looks amazing. Then we've got the Fuller cards as well. These are just all ridiculous. I don't know which one's my favorite. I love that Kiram. Rayquaza's really sick. Jolteon's an evolution. Two Rainbow Rares, one of them attack Team Tyranitar, but 
we've also got a Gardevoir and a Charizard Full Art, which is nuts. Then the EX and GX, guys, this is where it's ridiculous and I absolutely love it. Moltres, Solgaleo, we got the birds, Trio, like, I don't know, Sil Valley. Uh, Solgaleo, we got Espeon and Deoxys, and then it finishes right here with a base set, Fossil, and Neo card. All looking ridiculous, all really rare. So I think without further ado, I gotta wrap up this recap right here. I gotta finish part number one because I'm about to record part number two. Pikachu, if you're excited for that, demolish the like button if you love these videos. But most of all, stay subscribed, ring the bell, or click the link in the description if you're watching this later on. But you're gonna keep on gaming. Till tomorrow, Pikachu. I'll see you then.